Two more women have stepped forward with allegations against disgraced movie mogul Harvey Weinstein, bringing the total number of women charging sexual harassment and assault to at least 60. Actor Annabella Sciorra told The New Yorker Weinstein forced his way into her apartment in 1992 and raped her. And actor Daryl Hannah says Weinstein repeatedly tried to force his way into her apartment, leading her on one occasion to barricade herself in her room using furniture. The latest revelations came as Rose McGowan told The New York Times she was offered a $1 million hush money payment if she signed a non-disclosure agreement not to come forward with her charges that Weinstein raped her at the Sundance Film Festival in 1997. McGowan spoke Friday at a women's conference in Detroit. I have been silenced for 20 years. I have been slut-shamed. I have been harassed. I have been maligned. And you know what? I'm just like you. Because what happened to me behind the scenes happens to all of us in this society. And that cannot stand, and it will not stand. More women have come forward to accuse George H.W. Bush of sexual assault, bringing the number of his accusers to five. Among them is former Maine Senate candidate Amanda Staples, who said on Instagram Bush groped her in 2005 as she posed for a photo with the former president. Meanwhile, the White House confirmed Friday that its official position is that all 16 women who've accused President Trump of sexual misconduct are lying. This is White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders being questioned by CBS's Jacqueline Alemani. At least 16 women accused the president of sexually harassing them uh, throughout the course of the campaign. Last week, during a press conference in the Rose Garden, the president called these accusations fake news. Is the official White House position that, uh, that all of these women are lying? Yeah, we've been clear on that from the beginning and the president on it.